Have you ever watched video but it sounded weird in the middle or end of it? Like this. Dream high. Let's talk a while about this. Actually it comes back to the editor taste. But I just want to share my opinion here. Tepito gives you an estimated time, 59 seconds to upload a video. Most editors will cut the intro and add it to a rep. Is it forbidden? Certainly not. However, I will choose a little longer to spend my time to make the background more proper. We go You may be annoyed that this thing always appears when editing on CapCut but without you knowing it can be a reference to choose the location of your captions and centering. Is that useful? Let's see. Cover is made as a representative of entire content of video. I highly recommend don't underestimate the type of text font you choose. Here are the tips based on my experience. You can use it too. But please don't claim this formula as yours haha. How to make a shadow on CapCut. You can use these two ways to create shadows as needed. Use method 1 for shadows with glossy floors. Use second method for shadows with matte or ground floors.
Now we move to another tips. Keyframes are useful for controlling object motion. First, choose where you will change the position or size of the object. In this example, I want to make the object size bigger. The results will be like this. Use the same way to change object position. Slide the object using your finger when keyframe is active. I will immediately tell you about the color tone formula. Tap on your object, adjust then choose temp, set on left for bluish color, set on right for orange color. After set your temp color then move to hue, set on left for greenish color, set on right for reddish color. In the example I want to make similar object color with backgrounds. So what I do is set on right in temp 20. And set on right in hue 12 to get a similar color. <laughs> 